Fragrantica.com, they say. Blue Seduction was launched in 2007. Top notes are melon, bergamot, maybe black currant. Middle notes are seawater, green apple, cappuccino, cardamom, and nutmeg. Base notes are amber and woodsy notes. I don't know where they get this cappuccino, or I guess it actually is a note. The melon, the seawater, the green apple. The cardamom. You get those. That melon note is way, way up there. Now, Matt, I know you're watching. You're probably wondering why. Why did you get that small bottle? Well, it's because I, I found this, and I didn't want to spend any more than twenty dollars. So I compromised. I got the fifteen mil of this. I got a 30 mil of Azaro Poro Intense. I didn't want to spend any more than 20 bucks. And so the full 3.4 of this, as you told me, was $20. And I was like, well, I want to get something else. I want to try two things. I got the 15 mil of the Blue Seduction. And I got the Azaro Poro Intense. Anyway. Hmm. I don't remember, I think I did a review on a decant of Blue Seduction. Um, but I want to revisit it. Um, so when I did my initial one, I wasn't all that impressed. <clears throat> but... I wore the decant. It's almost gone. And as I wore it, as like, you know, I really think that there's a situation. There's a time for this. Okay. Um. So we had a few days where temperatures got into the 70s, and I wore it, and it performed great. Projected great. Probably had about an hour of projection. And a decent sillage. It's a freshie, so it's not gonna like really make too much of a scent bubble. <clears throat> but it did. It made it was a really, really it was kind of an eye-opening thing. Um, and I'll tell you why. I didn't. I didn't think. Obviously, I have. You know, this is like better than Davidoff. This is better than Aspen. This is better than a lot of freshies. But my idea on freshies, my opinion on them has been ruined by Azaro Chrome because Azaro Chrome is such a beast. And by Nautical Voyage, because Nautical Voyage is such a beast. <laughs> and I feel like I kind of gave this one an unfair shake. That melon, when you focus on the scent of this thing, this Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction, that melon, you know, given the right weather, really comes out. And it smells to me. Like a honeydew. Honeydew is my favorite melon, and it smells like a honeydew to me. I don't know if I'm right, but to me, this smells like a honeydew. This is an eau de toilette concentration. Um, you got to be fair with this thing. Anything below like 70 degrees, don't put it on. Don't wear it. And I should have known that with a freshie. I still, it's not really on Azaro Chrome's level. I mean, it's better than, it's not better than Chrome Legend. That, no. It's better than Azaro Chrome Sport. It's not better than Chrome Legend. 
So it definitely ain't better than Chrome. Because Chrome Legend and Chrome are head to head, but Chrome to me is better. It's not better than Nautical Blue or Nautical Flight. It's way better than Nautical Blue. I hate that one. It's better than Nautica Voyage Sport. <sighs> it's a middle of the line freshy, but it has something in it that those don't have. It'd be the melon. The melon is kind of what sets this one apart. I think it. <sighs> With the freshies I have, I don't know how much I'm going to reach for this specific one, but I'll reach for it before I'll reach for cool water. I'll reach for it before I reach for <clears throat> Aspen, for the bot body sprays. I'll reach for it before I reach for black is black. <clears throat> If I want a blue fragrance, <clears throat> I'm probably going to reach for it before I reach for Lazaro Wanted. I'm getting that daiquiri from the, from the Halloween man. So... It's a struggle with this one, but I, I think I was unfair to it before. It's 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 a solid, solid fragrance. Longevity, probably got about three to four hours. The projection, it's a freshie, so it, it, they don't normally project very well for very long. So I got a, maybe half an hour projection on it. The sillage... It didn't really leave a scent trail. It was, I mean, I don't know. I think it's definitely got, it's definitely solid. It's definitely got its place. It's definitely very, very good fragrance. It's just confusing to me because y'all see all these and all of what's over there you don't see, but this is the display I have out for now. And I have trouble because freshies are my thing. Like, I like freshies over everything else, but you can't wear these in the winter because they don't perform well. But I like the fruity, sweet kind of fragrances. I'm trying to decide the dilemma is does it earn on the spot on the shelf? Not right now. This will be out in my summer. And I have certain freshies that like are not, I'm not even good in the summer. Like I really have to be in the mood for them, but I, it's not that I don't like them, but I have to be in the mood for them. So this doesn't go on my shelf right now. But I can guarantee you, in the summer, this is a summertime fragrance for me. Hands down. Hands down. It's a summertime frag for me. But I think that's just kind of where it needs to stay, is in the summertime. I, I don't know how this would be in fall or spring. I know it's not good for winter, but that's not a surprise. So it doesn't get a spot on my shelf yet. Um, and the reason why I have these up here as opposed to just having winter fragrances is sometimes on the off day, you know, we'll get a, a warm day. And these are my fragrances that I reach for that are freshies. But I don't think it's going to get warm enough to wear this. Is this better than some of the ones I have up there on my freshie shelf? Yes. <laughs> but they tend to be stronger, stronger performers.
it's not better than anything. Well, it's better than the two sports I have up there. Other than that, it's not better than anything else in the front. But this is like a solid second row shelf. Second row kind of top shelf thing. It's really good. Later.